Hey, and welcome back to Bourbon Blind, where the guys don't know what they're drinking. Um, tonight's bottles come from JR. Uh, he was nice enough to give us, or to try, three bottles of Old Forester. And I thought it would be really fun to see the difference in, these are all single barrels, so what's the difference in single barrels? Because sometimes you hear all the hype about single barrels, and it really, I hate to say this, I really, really like single barrels. Um, they're so different. I did the other night, uh, two single bottles of Maker's Mark and one of them was labeled sugar cookies. And I was like, uh, really? And I tasted it. I'm like, this ain't sweet. And then I compared it to another bottle and it was amazingly sweet. So I thought it'd be fun tonight to see if the guys, A, can figure out that they're drinking the same thing. B, if they all get the same price point and C, uh, I don't know. You never know what's going to come out of their mouths. So Tonight I have, it's Old Forester. It is single barrel. Um, they are coming in at, we have an Alabama ABC Select at 62% alcohol or 124.4 proof. I have a Tobacco Express coming in at 128 proof. And then I have a Liquor Express coming in at 131. With that, uh, I'm going to pour these glasses. And uh, if you like what you see, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. Tonight's bottles are a little bit different than what we usually do, but we do always drink them blind. The guys will give you notes of what they get, uh, how much they were willing to pay without the hype of the label. B for bourbon blind is black, and that's going to be the Alabama at 124. We got elixir glasses going in to our Tobacco Express at 128. So B for Bourbon Blind, black. We got gold for Elixir. And then we're gonna do, what's my other color? Red is going to be our Whiskey House. What's up guys, welcome back to Bourbon Blind. I'm Kyle. I'm Nick. We taste whiskey, we give it a price tag, you'll be willing to pay for a bottle without that hype of the label. No label so, hype. No label hype. That's what's up? I like that. I will. Poop on a bottle, no matter how allocated it is. So. I've seen him do it. Literally. <laughs> Literally. Literally. <laughs> I don't need that image in my head. <laughs> You're the one that put it out there. All right. So uh, we rearranged the glasses. So right, middle, left. Right, middle, left. So bottles are in order of the glasses. Glasses in order of the bottles. We felt like that made the most sense. So anyway. You ready to get started? Starting with the far right glass. Far right, which is cha. Cha. A little bit of corn right up on them, like, yep. like sweet corn, like cream corn. Yeah. You're pretty deep in there with almost no ethanol. I was going to say a little bit of ethanol. <laughs> just, I mean, just a little, but it's not like. It's not super offensive, no, but like I'm, I'm trying to pick out though. other things, and that's what yeah. sticks out. Like some creme brulee. Burnt sugar. There's something that I'm trying to pick out. Toffee, caramel. I'm just straight on that that the, path. Yeah, kind of a light sweetness. Yeah. It's like a like a sugar glazed pear. How like kind it? of that light fruit, but like white sugar, not like. Right. So of the three. That definitely has the most nose on it. Oh, that's promising. <laughs> hey, bro. Faint sweetness in there. Almost no ethanol. Almost no... Anything. Thing. <laughs> All right, you ready? <sighs> Hold go, on. go to the third glass. Okay. <laughs> Even less of nothing. Do we have COVID? <laughs> you got to go back. No, no COVID. <laughs> like there's just. Like a faint spice on the nose. Yeah. And. A like a like a calmer spice, smidge of sweetness. I don't know, man. 
Right. In comparison, this one's crazy complex. <laughs> right. <laughs> With all of the, the burnt sugars and stuff. And that one fruit. All right. All right. Let's, let's do here. this. Good bit of proof on that. Yeah. And I don't mean ethanol, just lots of flavor. The nose was very misleading. Yeah. Um, some oak, cherry, root like beer. A, like, a, like a cherry root beer. Yeah. Exactly I was like, I was like tell was me you get the root say. beer. Tell me you get the root beer. Like, it's like you added cherry syrup to like an A&W. Grenadine and A&W. Oh, that sounds so good. 10 out of 10. Wood smash. I love... I love cherry cola. Cherries and cherry cordials and just about anything else cherry. You would have loved my grandmother because that's what she gave at Christmas every <laughs> year. I love it. I love every it. kid in the family <laughs> got a box of cherry cordials and nobody wanted them. Nice. And you were like, bet. <laughs> I would have like two or three out of my box and be like, I'm done for the year. <laughs> she also bought like the really cheap ones. Love her to death, but... She had to buy them for the whole family. She did have to buy it for like 30 people. So, I mean, I get it. I'm not judging. More oak, brown sugar. Almost like a burnt molasses, if that makes any sense. Mm. I wouldn't say like a burnt It's molasses. not like a sweet molasses. It's like that burnt. But almost like, almost like a candied molasses to me. I don't know if that's a thing, but okay. I don't think it is. <laughs> But like we're go, we're gonna go there. It's just all right. Number two, like a candied jalapeno, but like with molasses, like not the spiciness of the jalapeno. <laughs> I'm just gonna stop. It's not you. <laughs> it's not you. For once, for once. Oh God! <laughs> Smell. I'll tell you in a sec. Woo! All right, so I'm going to give you guys an invite to the party in my head in just a second. Okay, I was just making sure that like something crazy didn't just happen to that second one. <laughs> so, you know you got to say like whatever whatever comes to your mind, right? You don't have to, actually. You don't have to. Like lots but, of people don't. But if we're going to be fair, we have to give our impressions on... The bourbon in a fair and honest just way. way. Right. Not, not necessarily fair and just, just honest. So fair is subjective. I'm really concerned as to where this is going. <laughs> I'm not smelling it now. <laughs> Poopy diapers. <laughs> Appreciate you guys tuning in today. We're just going to cut this one short. <laughs> See you next Friday, maybe. Kyle's going to the doctor. So, uh, on the non-poopy diaper uh, glass, I get... Light brown sugar, uh, no, candied apples. No, I get water. Caramel apples. It's just nothing. Caramel apples. Where are you pulling these from? None of those exist in this glass. Yeah. Nope. You got the you got the Rona. All right. Well, cheers. Mmm. So not obviously. Well, it's got way more than the nose. I was just saying, not anything like the nose, but it is not anything. Anything, like the anything nose. Would be nothing like the nose. Mm. Yeah, that's yet again. The nose is very misleading. It is. It leads you in with effectively nothing, and then hits you on the palate. Surprisingly More well. Brown sugar, caramel. Yeah. Um, Allspice. Yeah. Clove. Like the... What are the the square caramel things that like all the old people have? Caramels. Yeah. Branches caramels. Is that what they are? Branches? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Branches caramels. What are the square caramel things that people have? Caramels, Kyle. Old people have. Caramels. <laughs> All people have the best snacks. I'm just saying. Werther's Original, Andy's right? Mints, After Eights, <laughs> Golden. <laughs> Love it. You know why? Because they've reached a certain point in their life and they're like, I don't have to impress anyone. 
I'm just going to eat caramel all day long. I'm getting, picking up like a, a little bit of like astringency, but it's not super strong. It's there, but it's not like, oh God, astringency. It's like, it's like a little bit of a sourness. Maybe it's that. I get, I get more like a sourness. I know, I know what you're talking yeah. about, though. I, I get a drying on the finish, but like right back here, I get some drying. The back of the jowls. Yeah, like some some barrel char on the finish, almost. Yeah, I I like it. I'm not crazy over the moon about it, but I like it. The nose is super misleading. It really is on both of them. Number three, where there's nothing but the faces, faint maybe pears. Like a candied pear? See, like a pear, maybe like a peach. Yeah. Anyway, cheers, guys. Hmm. Okay, so that's three in a row that... Nothing like the nose. Wouldn't impress anyone with the nose, yet the palate, while not like, oh my god, that's so good, it's, it's so much more complex than the nose... So if there's one thing I don't like in a drink, whether it's bourbon, wine, beer, whatever, is a lot of tannins and that like drying aspect. This one's super tannin. Some people really finish. enjoy that. They're like, oh, it's like another, you need another sip. And I'm like, but I put liquid in my mouth to not need more liquid. More liquid. <laughs> Yeah, the, the finish it's, on this one. It tastes really good, but it yeah. has that drying aspect yeah, that I'm not... It's it's all good until the finish. The finish is really tanniny, really drying. Um, like it almost stings. Does that make any sense? Like the finish, almost get like a like a stinging in the back of your jaw. Almost like a, a heat. Yeah. Yeah. Like like a tingle. Um, yeah, this one more definitely less sweet, more baking spice. Mm -hmm. I think you said clove. Yeah. Definitely some clove. Ginger. It's like, there's there's a lot of... Nutmeg. This one's real heavy on the spices. Mm-hmm. Because uh, it's got a large number of those going on. You know, baking spice, so, allspice, clove, nutmeg. And then as soon as the finish starts, right after you swallow, it jumps right into that drying tannin char bitterness. So going back to number one, definitely a lot sweeter. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Need to rinse. Got yeah. a lot of things happening. Yeah? Hmm. Oh, I saw that happen. Nope. It's on camera. It's literally not, though. I mean... I know. I do the editing. <laughs> In case he edited it out, he poured some of my drink into his drink. I can edit that out, too. I'll keep saying it. <laughs> there is nothing you can say that I can't edit out. <laughs> I will continue repeating it after... In the middle of sentences. Um, whew. Number two's gotten hot. I wonder if it's the water. Maybe it's the water. Let the water sit for a second. I don't pick up a lot of heat. There's there's some additional heat on the finish, but aside from that, not the finish is sat there for a second though. It's almost like the heat's ramping up. It's weird. Yeah. I've never had that before. So I would almost say let me go back to number one. I'm, I'm going to say I'm not in love with any of these. Really? Mm-mm. Okay. Like, all, on the scale of these, I like the, I like number one the most. Far right, far right bottle. Mm -hmm. um, number two, second. And then number three, far left bottle. I, I, yeah. I don't like that at I'm, all. I'm in the same way. Um, I don't love any of them. I don't what kind of dislike. price tag would you put on number one, the one you like the most? 
I, I don't dislike either of these two. Okay. Uh, this one's really off-putting. So for the one that I like the most, number one, far right model. Um, I'm like 35 bucks. Wow. Like 30, 35 bucks. Okay. I was going to say 80. Wow. You like that a lot more than I do. Okay. Number two, which you like second. 25 bucks. Okay. I was going to say like 50. Number three. $7. <laughs> $7. Okay. It's just nothing, nothing about it that I like. The nose has nothing interesting going on. And it's just all spice and drying. Like, it's just not enjoyable to me. If that's your thing, by I, all means. If you I love mean, the I, spice and that drying finish, that is absolutely up your alley. Maybe 20 bucks. Yeah. I'm, I, I said what I said. That's fair. And the only... I think the, all three of these are well north of 100 proof. Probably. I would even say north of 120. Mm. At least 115. You, you lost me on that one. At least 115. So... Should we see what they is? Do you want to start with our least favorite and work our way up to our most? Sure. Drum roll, please. Oh, no. <laughs> I take back everything I said. Number three is the best. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Okay. So this is an Old Forester single barrel barrel strength pick from Liquor Express and the HBA. Okay. Uh, so this was 131.8 proof. I called the proof. You you did. Um, I'm real upset about that. Number two, sir. <laughs> I see where this is going. Old Forester, single barrel, <laughs> barrel straight. Pick from Alabama ABC. Oh, that was number two. Sorry. And... Are we guessing what number one is? It's another single barrel barrel strength. <laughs> it's almost like he knows. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Oh, man. This one's a pick from Tobacco <laughs> Express and Spirits. So, all three Old Foresters, single barrel barrel proofs, and you really didn't like any of them. So, I'm having a bit is... of an existential crisis currently because <laughs> I... Uh, I swooned so hard over these. Okay, so. Um, hold that thought. It is 124.4. The third is 128.5. So they were well worth a 120. You, you did, and they are. And I was so here it is. In so many ways. Um, these were kindly... Not donated, but um, lended to us. Yeah. From they're on JR. loan, like a work of art at right. a museum. Uh, from Jr. Jr. Northcutt, Patreon member. Thank you, sir. Oh, um, boy. Right. So this is a pick that you and I have both had that we love. Okay. We love so hard. And this one is out of uh, Honey Hole. Honey Hole. I want to say it was from Big Red up in Indiana. Mm -hmm. 124.5. Okay. So, let's see if it is... And for the record, the Old Forester single barrels are my jam. I go hard yeah. on the Old Forester single barrels. If we're barrels. traveling somewhere and he sees an Old Forester single barrel, he's buying, buying it. At least one. Yeah. I have five currently. And I love all of them. All right, so... A little bit of heat, some sweetness. A little bit of heat on this, but the nose immediately has a lot more depth to me than any of these did. It is, it is to me, most similar to number one. Yeah. Like, it's... Well, two and three didn't have hardly anything on the nose, so take that for what it's worth. doesn't make any sense. At 125, 130 proof to not have anything on the nose. Because number three not, was 130, almost 132. Number two was... 124.4. So 130, 125. There should be something on the nose. Yeah. Like a sweetness, like a creme brulee. It's super oily. Yeah. It's like a, like a, almost like an ice cream consistency. 
So maybe instead of Honey Hole, they should have named it Honey Barrel. Is that thing? I, I really enjoyed number one. It was, of the three, number, I enjoyed it the most. But. Yeah, number two was okay, and number three, I didn't really care for a whole lot. Mm-mm. Um, that's really good. That's also really good. Obviously, I know what it is, but I think blind, I'd probably say somewhere between 80 and 120. Yeah, I, I'd, I'd be comfortable in that 70 to $90 range for that one all day long. No so, problem. Um, the only problem with that is that's one out of four. Yeah. That's 25%. That's not a great passing score. It's not. <laughs> also, let's keep in mind that this one's from Alabama ABC. And in case you don't know, Alabama ABC does not pick their barrels. No, sometimes they do have people go pick for Sometimes them. they do. More often than not, the distilleries honestly, the, pick their own barrel. And honestly, like, in go. HBA, I'm sorry, um, yeah, a lot of the... Liquor and Express in the HBA? It's, it's nothing to do with the HBA directly. Just a lot of the picks I've gotten from Northern Alabama, I have not been a huge fan of. Yeah. Like, and... Tobacco Express is another northern Alabama. Yeah. Like, where's Honey Hole? Indiana. Okay. So maybe just Alabama, they just offer them crap barrels to begin with. And they have to pick the best pick out the, of the... <laughs> the best of the worst. <laughs> yeah. Um, so. No, like anyway. this one just seems... The, the Honey Hole just seems so much more complex. It seems yeah. like there's so much more going on. Which... In all honesty, in comparison to these, it definitely an does. Evan Williams bottled and bond is super complex. <laughs> you know, like maybe not number one, maybe not number one, three. but definitely two and three, especially on the nose. Yeah, I've had glasses of water with better noses. <laughs> um, so, but um, I don't know. That's weird. Old Forester, they usually do amazing stuff. Um, I I have a collection. I believe it's Jackie Zykan is their master taster. Mm-hmm. She does an amazing job. Yeah. Um, I'm pretty sure she was responsible for old uh, Cooper, Cooper Craft. Cooper's yeah, Cooper's Craft. Craft. Uh, they do some awesome, phenomenal stuff. Their Cooper's Craft Hunter Proof? Yeah. From Mir. Um, yeah, Old Force, they do. It's out of Kentucky, obviously. They've been around a long time. They're part of Brown Foreman. Mm-hmm. Old Force in general does a lot of good stuff. If you haven't checked out our uh, 100 proof signature review, please do. Uh, it is. We did uh, so an awesome. Old Forester triple header. We did yeah all signature 1910 and 1920. All yeah, we did that one too. Definitely check that out. Definitely He's surprising results. He's gonna forget surprising results. Just put hashtag Kyle forgot in the comments and then put a timestamp so I know when to right. put it. But no, Old Forest overall does amazing stuff. They really yeah. do. The 1910 is a phenomenal killer at 93 proof. <laughs> it really An is. absolute killer. Um, um, 1920 ni- is super good. I used to think it was my favorite until I blinded it against 1910. And 1910 won hands down. Yeah, for both of us. Uh, and then um, the, the no. 100 proof was... Yes. We both that that one hundred proof at like twenty bucks a bottle is it's just it is a one of heavy the hit. best one of definitely one of the best bourbons available for the money, bar none. Oh yeah, yeah. So I would put that up against any forty or fifty dollar bottle. The Old Forester Rye is really good too. Anyways, um, you know what else is really good? What's that? Sap fifty six. Really? You know what about? <laughs> I just seem to have have a bottle of that. Retcha. So. Sap 56 is our newest sponsor. They are out of Canada. It is a five-year-old Canadian whiskey. And they do, they they actually distill and age each of their grains independently and then super blend them together. Unique. That is also super unique. cool. Uh, the other thing they do is, uh, like I said, it's at least five years old, which is, for a liqueur, is awesome. Yeah. Um, it has 50% less sugar than most other liqueurs, and it's 100% natural. Yeah. And the so, color on this is cool. So Sap 56, the 56 come from the 56 days a year that they harvest the maple out of their maple trees in Canada. And they will absolutely, it's, Nick and I are not big liqueur persons in general, uh, flavored whiskey. They did such an awesome job on this. It's, um, I would make pancake syrup with this. It is so freaking good. Yeah. And I'm not just saying that because they're no, sponsoring. No, not just saying that because they're a sponsor. <laughs> like, I would I would happily spend my own money on this. Yeah. It's like, this is a dessert drink all day long. They sent us a couple bottles um, for you guys to see and us to taste and everything. 
And Nick helped himself and opened it up in the office right away. And he was like, to be polite. <laughs> he's like, well, that's super good. And I tasted it. And I was like, yeah, yeah, it is. My wife tasted it and she said the same thing. Yeah. The, the, on the, the nose, it's more whiskey yeah. than maple on the nose. Yeah. Which I, I get, I think awesome. I, almost no, there's, there's some there. It's, it's yeah. in the background. Yeah. Uh, but it's, it's a more typical whiskey nose than almost a. like that pancake syrup. Yeah. I would, all day long. Mm. It's, it's so good. <laughs> and it, it's so oily. Like the, the legs hang out. I mean, it does have Canadian maple syrup in it. Mm. And it is 100% natural Canadian maple syrup. It's literally maple straight out of the trees into the bottle mixed with uh, uh, Canadian the whiskey. whiskey. They do an awesome job. Be sure to go check them out. Also, I would pour that on my pancakes. Oh, yeah. I every should. day of the week. That makes I me should. want to go make some waffles. A little <laughs> bit of butter, so a little bit of Sat 56. <laughs> Golden. Um what else is awesome? Go check out our Patreon if you want to come help support us and what we do. And also, uh, Teespring, that stuff is down in the comments for t-shirts. Nick's not wearing one because he's a loser. Um, I mean, that's not inaccurate. Like, comment, subscribe, all that YouTube shite. And uh, Friday Noon Central, right? You are doing a terrible job. Thank you. <laughs> Check out Bourbon Blind Nation on Facebook. Yes, Check us out on too. Patreon. Check us out on Instagram Bourbon at Bourbon Blind. Check us out on TikTok at the Bourbon Talkies. Blind. We have a lot of fun on the TikTok. It's um, way less serious. Way less serious. <laughs> Not that we're super serious here. We're super serial. Uh, so last week was hashtag Boom Boom Sauce. Mm -hmm. This week hashtag Sap fifty six in the comments. Hashtag Sap fifty six in the comments. And, if you um, made it this far, we appreciate you. Glad you stuck around. Absolutely. And so, till Friday, noon central next week, cheers and drink blind. Make some pancakes. We want to give a huge shout out to all of our Patreon people. Absolutely thank you. You guys are freaking magical. T shirts at Teespring, link in the description. Also, thank you to anyone who has ever supported us, whether that's either coming on a live, chit chatting with us on a Thursday night, or if you just like to watch our episodes, we appreciate every one of you. Until Friday, noon central next week.